What's up, guys? Hey, this is George Chris from the Shuffle Pod, and I am very, very excited to give you guys uh, the very first episode of the Shuffle Pod's weekday wrap up show. What this is, it's going to be a show in between our shows that's going to hit you guys sometime midweek, every week, and it's going to give me an opportunity to talk to you guys for about 20 minutes to a half hour, just a little mini episode, a wrap up of sorts about uh, interaction that we've gotten from the past show of that past week, maybe a couple topic things that I had, and basically it's going to give me a chance to talk to you guys and give you my opinion of what we talked about on the past show. Now, seeing that we did not have a past show uh, last week, all it was was me rambling at you guys for another half hour or so, I'm going to talk about that. Um, it turns out that I may say like a lot. And what is the other thing somebody told me at work? It was um, what uh, and, and what not. I think I say and what not a lot. And... Uh, there was another one, but uh, I will work on that because that's pretty annoying, and I apologize about that. News around everything Shuffle Pod. Um, I had an opportunity to be a guest host on a podcast, a very good podcast. It's called This Song Fucking Sucks, and uh, we talked about uh, a Jacob Sartorius song, and it it is uh, titled uh, Hit Me Back. Um, and it's on YouTube, so if you guys haven't got a chance to listen to it, you guys ought to listen to the song. Then take a moment to listen to uh, Jeff Kilmback and I talk about, on his show, This Song Fucking Sucks, this song. The song is interesting, to say the least. Uh, it's a younger teenage boy singing about a a girl that he just can't get enough of, uh, and he keeps trying to talk to her and all this stuff, and she just won't hit him back. Um, enter about a third into the song, some creepy older guy shows up. Yeah, I say older guy. He's probably about 18-ish. Um, I think he's driving a Chrysler Sebring convertible, and he has an obligatory rap part in this song. It's just a bad, bad song, but it was a good podcast, and I am thrilled that I got a chance to be on it. Uh, Jeff is promoting the heck out of this episode. He does a great job, a heck of a lot better job than I do of promoting the Shuffle Pod. Um, he's been hitting me with tweets and, and stuff and hitting uh, hitting us up on Facebook. So if you guys get a chance, definitely give his uh, podcast a listen to. It's well worth a listen. It's hilarious. I went back and started listening to a lot of his older shows, and they are just there to die for. They're hilarious. So... Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jeff, for having me on. Um, I had a blast. Anytime you want to have me on again, that'd be great. I'm I'm game for it. As a matter of fact, I would quit this podcast to go on your podcast. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, no, I loved uh, getting a chance to to do that. So, what is the announcements of of the everything new that of uh, the Shuffle Pod is doing? Uh, looking into launching a new video series, um, which will probably be on YouTube or uh, or Facebook Live. Um, recently purchased a uh, new camera. It's a Zoom Q2N. Um, very nice little camera. It's got some nice microphones, so we're looking forward to getting uh, getting some really nice live content to you guys. Uh, so I, I figured today what I would do, since I don't have the most uh, topics of sort, um, is give you guys the basis of this show, what this is going to be. Like I said, it's going to be about 20 minutes long-ish, uh, give or take a few. And it's going to consist of me talking to you guys about the show, uh, what we talked about, some interactions that we had with people on Twitter and other social media platforms, um, and just give you guys news as to what we are looking at doing. Um, the ideas and the format to this show is going to be a little unique. Um, as you guys know, uh, we've referenced that um, I, I love playing music. I love playing guitar. Um, I really, really like writing songs and I like playing cover songs. So what I figured I would do, and hopefully, um, you guys will keep listening after you guys hear me sing, but I figured I would do a segment of the show to close out the show and talk about my song of the week that I, that I was going to pick. And it's going to be a variation of, um, original material that I've written um, maybe stuff I'm working on that I just want to bounce ideas off you guys, 
or some of my favorite cover songs that I like to do. And if I give you the cover songs, I'm going to give you guys the background of the song, uh, maybe a story about the first time I heard it, that type thing, just to give you guys a little bit of uh, insight on as to what I like to do when I play and stuff. So, as you guys know, um, or maybe you don't know, I don't know, uh, our intro music is a song that I wrote, um, and I had recorded it in my studio on a, in a, on a rough recording. Uh, Woody and I were sitting down in my studio before the Shuffle Pod even started. We didn't even do our, our very first episode yet. And he's like, we need a theme song. So we came in to possibly write something. about, And I, I told him, I said, you know, I've got some other stuff. Um, and uh, maybe I'll show you a couple things that I've recorded. And we stumbled on this song. So later on in the, in the show, I will tell you guys definitely about... Uh, about this song, the story behind it, what it's titled, and I'll, I'll play it for you guys live. Um, I don't have, I have any idea how great it's going to sound. I'm um, just talking into my Blue Yeti mic, and I've got an amp set up behind me and a guitar, and hopefully I don't blow my speakers out while I do this, but I'm going to give it a shot. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much part of the show. That's going to be the last part. Uh, I may have a guest or two on on some of these episodes, which will consist of uh, my brother, Jim, you guys have heard me talk about him a lot. Uh, I, I love him to death. He's, he's, you know, one of my greatest friends in the world, and I'm very fortunate to have him as a brother. And he's got some really cool ideas, and he's, he's one of the smarter people that I know. So I'm very excited to go ahead and uh, have him on the show every once in a while. That also being said, um, I'm going to have my brother-in-law, Rob, on the show awesome guy, love him to death, love him like a brother, and he's got some really good insight and some good topics, and uh, he's really good at uh, giving his opinion on things, which are normally probably different than what I what I look at uh, as far as uh, v views that I have and stuff, so it's, it's pretty cool, and I asked them uh, if they were willing to ever come on, and they were like, heck yeah, man, so we'll we'll talk about that, and I'll have some other guests on every once in a while, just for this many uh, in-between podcast podcasts. Um, so yeah, man, um, I set a Twitter poll up on the ShuffleBot account because I've been obsessed with uh, watching YouTube videos on Call of Duty and, and Battlefield. Uh, I love those games. I love first-person shooters. I usually play on Xbox. Uh, my Xbox handle is GeoMac1310. If you guys are looking to to play some Battlefield or something if I'm ever on there. And if uh, I don't answer, it might be my my kid or my wife playing under my gamer tag. Um, so, yeah, don't uh, don't harass us, I guess. <laughs> and uh, But, yeah, man, I, I play those games, uh, you know, not as much as I guess I would like to because of, you know, just so much stuff going on in life. But uh, I love first-person shooters. So I was very excited. Uh, I had been playing Battlefield one uh for a long time battlefield four uh is my favorite video game ever and i used to play a lot of call of duty uh black ops modern warfare black ops 2 and stuff like that so that was always um some of my favorite uh games well now call of duty's coming out with the call of duty world war ii so it got me thinking i had been watching a lot of reviews uh before i pulled the trigger on this game and uh yeah, I, I put a, a poll out. What's better? Uh, what, what's a better franchise? Call of Duty franchise or the Battlefield franchise? And overwhelmingly, 100% of the votes uh, were for Battlefield, uh, which is awesome. Um, I agree. I think it's a better game. But uh, there are some uh, assholes, to say the least, that play a lot of the Call of Duty games. A lot of times it's like a 12-year-old kid that uh, will like shoot you and then stand over you and just teabag you repeatedly um, on, on the video game. Not like literally come to your house and teabag you. But they, you know, I, I used to get teabagged a lot in Halo. Um, and then I came to find out that not only can you dolphin dive uh, with uh, Call of Duty, uh, you also get teabagged every once in a while if they knife you and they take your tag. It's just, it's humiliating. And there's nothing worse than a 12-year-old, you know, telling you how much of a little bitch you are. And, you know, and you're like, Hey, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm 38, 40, you know, however old I was at the time yelling at kids like an idiot. And they'd be like, yeah, stop playing on the computer with kids. You, 
pedophile and it just makes you feel kind of weird so yeah that that was it uh put up a twitter poll and yeah uh battlefield won out so if you guys like uh video games uh hit me up let me know what you guys like um i like first person shooters i'm not really into quest games or anything like that uh now my daughter does play um some quest games and some of those uh nightmare games um like where like monsters are hiding and stuff and they come out and uh they chase you those things scare the shit out of me so uh i don't know uh let me know what your guys favorite video games are so all right um i guess i will pretty much uh give you guys about a uh, little background about how i started playing music and stuff um back in high school i started uh playing bass guitar uh, my uncle had passed away unexpectedly and he had a ton of musical equipment he had guitars just he had a 20th anniversary les paul um a fender stratocaster jaguar which i i still i've never seen another one i had sgs and and just all these guitars and beautiful fender amps and uh you know twin reverb deluxe reverb uh, he had a the little Fender Champ and, and just all these guitars, none of which we could afford to buy uh, from the estate. So my parents knew that I expressed an interest in uh, playing at some point, asked me if I wanted if uh, a bass guitar. So I started playing bass guitar from uh, a guitar that it was a no-name bass. Um, it was kind of like a Fender jazz bass style, but it was a no-name bass, and my parents bought it off the estate. It was very inexpensive at the time, so I started taking lessons. Um, Ozzy Osbourne, Crazy Train was the very first song I learned because I loved that Randy Rose, you know, so I played it on bass the best I could. Um, took some lessons for, I think, about three months, and, uh, then decided that I probably know everything about bass guitar, so I stopped, um, which I guess kind of was a mistake because I still don't know a shit ton about guitar um, all this time later, but I really enjoyed playing, um, and I really liked my bass instructor. He was awesome. He was another Greek, uh, and I would take it over at a place called uh, Zampino's Drum Shop in North Canton, um, they had upstairs you could do take guitar lessons and bass lessons and obviously drum lessons and it was awesome so that was way long time ago and uh flash forward high school time i joined a couple bands um i was friends with uh the, these two guys in high school jeff and rich and we would always have different bands that we were in uh we were never very good um our goal in the most popular band we were in in our eyes i guess was to not be the best uh players or anything but to be the fastest we were into like slayer and and sepultra and you know all these corrosion conformity all these huge just boom 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 you know heavy hitting uh you know thrash metal and and uh hardcore bands we were just we were into them huge at at the time and uh, so, yeah, we tried to be the heaviest and, and the fastest band, um, which translated to us sucking pretty bad. But we never, like, down-tuned our guitars. They were always tuned to, like, standard E, you know, and we would just chug, you know, and stuff. And I did a lot of vocals for them. Um, we did have one gig, uh, which made us rock stars because we got kicked out of the talent show um, because Rich got suspended from school. Um, so we could not play. We were given a uh, chance and we, we said, if Rich doesn't play, we're not going to play, you know? So we, that was, uh, in high school, we had basically kind of a gig, which was a talent show gig, but it didn't go anywhere. Um, flash forward to, uh, when I was in, uh, the working, working, you know, time in my life after high school, I started playing guitar and I had bought a old K acoustic electric uh, jazz box. Um, I didn't know anything about guitars. I bought this guitar uh, from a little guitar shop and I think I paid like a hundred bucks for it. 
and I ended up trading it later on down the road for like a Squire Strat, and that was my first venture into an electric guitar, and it was completely badass, and it changed my life forever. So I uh, joined a band called Miles Ahead. Uh, my friend Matt and I uh, started jamming. <coughs> Excuse me. We started jamming when he was up at Kent State. I met him uh, when my wife was going to college there, and he was he was awesome at uh, my growth as a musician because he had a recording studio in his dorm. Just you know, basically, just had a nice little setup, and he recorded an acoustic album for me. And him and I started playing, and we would play out on all these jam nights, and. We ended up getting a gig for the Pro Football Hall of Fame Ribs Burnoff. And we were playing a jam night at in downtown Canton. And uh, the board, I guess, uh, there was members of the, the Ribs Burnoff, you know, board were there. And they asked us, hey, we like you guys. Um, do you guys have a band? And we kind of fibbed and said, yeah, you know. And they asked if we wanted to play uh, the Hall of Fame Ribs Burnoff, and we agreed to it. We had about two months to get a band together and cram all these songs. And so we called my brother, Jim, and he played drums. Um, I had played with Rob, in a, my brother-in-law, Rob, in another band uh, before, you know, our, our Miles Ahead band. And he agreed to play bass. Uh, he was not yet my brother-in-law. Um, so we played. I was my brother, Jim, Rob, my friend, Matt. Our, well, our friend, Matt. He was he was all our friends. And uh, myself. And we played all around Canton, Akron, Cleveland. Uh, and just jammed tons and tons of places. And we had a good time. We had a good probably 10 or 12-year run. Um, I also was very lucky to play in a band called Sweet Spot, which had Leslie, um, uh, my friend Leslie, she was in, she was, uh, it was the first band I'd ever been in that had a female singer uh, as the lead singer. Uh, her and I split vocals a little bit. They, they were really kind to let me come in with some of the music that I had written and play, so that was awesome. Uh, shortly after I joined that band, my daughter was uh, born... And we played, uh, I, I bet you I played about a year with them. I, and I could be off a little bit. Um, so once my daughter started getting a little older, I wanted to spend a little more time at home. And they were very understanding and accommodating and allowed me to bow out gracefully. And so I kind of get to the point where I am right now um, where I you know, play some jam nights every once in a while. I took a lot of time off uh, from playing just so I could be a dad and spend time at home and stuff. and But yeah, I, I went ahead and I recently, again, started writing and playing. And I really enjoy it. So, I don't know. That's kind of like my background, I guess. Um, it looks like I'm about approaching the 20-minute uh, mark. And I kind of want to keep this first episode a little short. So, I will thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, once again, please take a listen to... Uh, this song fucking sucks. Look up the Jacob Sartorius episode. Um, hit me back. And that's the one that I'm on. Let us know how, how it was. Let, uh, let Jeff know, um, how cool his podcast is. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to give you guys a little segment that I'm going to call podcast. You should be listening to, obviously this song fucking sucks. You should listen to it because I'm going to be on it and it's pretty awesome uh, then conspiring to argue. They're going to be my two that I'm telling you guys got to listen to. And every week I'll give you a couple more or at least one more, um, that we listen to. And, uh, yeah, conspiring to argue, you know, you guys have heard me talk about them. I love them to death. Uh, even if they are from Iowa and Iowa kicked the shit out of Ohio state last weekend. So I wasn't real happy about that, which made me not like them, but obviously they did nothing to me. So I do like them again. Um, now that that wound is healed and, uh, but yeah, give, give them a listen. They're incredibly awesome. Uh, conspiring to argue and this song fucking sucks. Those are the two that I'm going to tell you, you guys got to listen to now on to the song. The theme song of our show is a song that I wrote called rain on the Delta. Um, I had this, this riff 
that I that I had played on and off for a long time, and I really liked it, and I never wrote anything to it, and I ended up writing lyrics to it. Um, it's not really about anything per se as far as anything that I've ever done. I just kind of imagined um, being from like the Delta region of America and just kind of, you know, wrote, I don't know, just kind of in that view. So I guess I will take this guitar. I'm going to turn the mic a little bit so I don't peek it out and kind of go sliding away from it. But I'll play you guys this song. And if uh, if you guys like this uh, kind of weekday wrap-up style stuff, join us every week. I'm going to record a short one um, every week. It'll be up. We just want to give you guys more content. But once again, thank you guys so much. Join us Sunday nights uh, when we release our main episodes of the Shuffle Pod. And until next week, or actually Sunday, I guess, I will talk to you guys again. And I'm looking forward to talking to you guys um, during the week. So without further ado, I'm going to attempt to play this song for you guys. I hope it turns out okay. Um, I'm going to kind of turn the mic away a little bit. But uh, this song is called Rain on the Delta, so here it goes. In the Delta, it's been no hot for days. I've been drinking sweet tea and then go to lemonade. When that night time comes, oh, so does the shine. Bootlegging whiskey and some blackberry wine. Ran on the Delta, now I'm going home. Ran on the Delta, now I'm going home. Fish are biting down on my fishing hole There must be a God, I can feel it in my soul There's music on the street on Sunday and music in the air Hear that gospel choir, Lord, now I'm choking back tears Rain on the dead time, now I'm going home Rain on the Delta, now I'm going home I feel so alone Wishing I could go back home Wishing I could find my love Rain on the Delta, now I'm going home Rain on the Delta, now I'm going home All right, guys, thank you so, so much. And until next week, we will talk to you later. And, uh, yeah, join us, Shuffle Pod, every Sunday. And now, sometime during the week, midweek. All right, guys, until next time, have a great one.